So, um, I guess it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. I guess you all can see my like terminal. I make it a bit bigger so that it's visible. I'm sorry for the color. Uh, so this is just um, I'm on. This is a Red Hat OpenStack um, deployment OSB 16.2. Uh, so it's the train release. Um, this is the undercloud, and um, we have basically an overcloud with three controllers. Um, and I have two bare metal nodes um, that I already sorry, registered in the overcloud. Uh, ironic. Um, so this is the C244 and so C255. And I want to show basically two things that are pretty handy with Redfish. Uh, so both of those nodes. Um, this one is the C245. Um, they are configured with Redfish. So I think the only difference to the traditional IPMI is you, you have to specify a different driver info. Um, um, and um, we set uh, the boot interface for those to Redfish virtual media. Um, and um, two things I want to show. So for the C244, I want to show basically the out of um, so out of band introspection. So typically when you introspect the node to get, you know, like number of cores and uh, CPUs and memory, um, it will boot an IPA image and then it will do an in-band introspection uh, using this Python, um, ironic Python agent. Um, so Redfish supports now an out of band introspection. Basically it will query the BMC and retrieve um, those information without needing to boot an image, um, which is of course much faster than doing the whole pixie boot uh, and starting the IPA image. Um, I would show you this with on this node. So basically, this is a newly created node. Um, you can see that it doesn't have any um, information except the, the standard ones. Um, and I should be able to do a bare metal node introspect or inspect. I think it's called. C244, and basically it should be as fast as you see on this other screen, you see on my other screen, that kind of um, uh, ironic conductor basically finished in inspecting the node. Um, and if I list the node again, uh, you will see that it should hopefully, these properties, um, yeah, the redfish, so the introspection, um, the redfish introspection uh, driver basically populated. So this was this was not set before. Additionally, what um, what um, the redfish can do is uh, it can also um, It can also detect the bare metal ports um, that this um, bare metal node um, has, um, and so what? So there are some, of course, some uh, caveats. So the uh, the redfish cannot do LLDP. So one one useful feature, I guess, is for the in-band introspection is that once you boot an IP image, you get LLDP information that you could use, for example, with I think the generic switch uh, driver to plug it to the correct or to to do basically tenant um, plugging the bare metal node in tenant networks. So this one, this isn't yet supported, but I heard from the ironic people that um, in theory, the Redfish um, standard could support this. So it depends actually on the BMC. Um, and of course, the in-band introspection will give you much more information than the then the, I mean, this depends actually on the Redfish implementation of the of the of the bare metal node you have. We have a Lenovo node, uh, relatively new Lenovo, Lenovo nodes, and I think they give you kind of the basic information. But I think this will, will with time will get better and better. Um, so this would be the introspection. That I think that's pretty handy. Um, the other uh, useful feature I want to show. Uh, with Redfish, or specifically uh, regarding Redfish, is um, the booting of, or uh, basically the whole, the whole 
pixie less booting. So the C245 is again um, another node uh, which we configured with Redfish. Um, and in this one, sorry. Um, This is uh, another note. The only difference uh, with this one is um, that we had to also be created, we pre created the ports because we need to uh, specify which port is connected to which leaf switch. This is specific for our Cisco SDN so that the, the, the Cisco SDN can properly plug the, uh, the bare metal node into the provisioning network. Um, so this was this is the only difference to the C two forty five, but for this one uh, we will now kind of um, clean the node and um, currently this node is in I think manage or in, in available state. I will move it back to uh, to the manage state and now I will um, provide it. So typically in a in a non um, so in the reg in, in, in the typical case, this will basically boot the IP image, uh, will clean the node, um, basically um, uh, erase the disk, and then move it to um, to the available provisioning state, and then it's the node would be would be ready for deployment again using the IP image. With uh, virtual media, uh, we won't do a pix so we won't do a pixie boot. We will. Um, this will mount uh, the IP image into a, one of the virtual media slots, and I can show you this in the EMC interface, um, and just boot it directly without doing any Pixie and any TFTP. So if I run this, um, we should see it now on, on this side. So this does a neutron plugin, um, create the ports, um, and then you should see that it should. So it will go through the vi uh, virtual media slots that the node has and plug it to the first one it can detect. And you can see this in the interface. This is the node that um, this is the specific node that we are now cleaning. Uh, you can see that um, this it creates it like it will on demand create um, on the fly. It will create an ISO image and will mount this uh, using HTTPS. You can also mount it from Swift, but the BMCs have to reach um, the controller, the ironic conductor, in order to properly mount this. Um, and then it will just boot the node. Um, and now you will see that it won't do any pixie booting on no TFTP. So it will directly boot um, the IPA image uh, and then clean the node and move it to the available state. This is the same way if you do the deployment later on, it will be the same process. So again, without pixie boot, it will kind of Put the IPA image directly, um, copy the the image that you know you you specify you chose onto the hard disk, uh, and then make um, then the node is actually ready. So this will take a, a bit of time, so probably a couple of minutes. But kind of this is the typical process you probably know from the from the regular Pixie boot. So it will put the IPA image now. This will take some time. So I think that's basically it. These are kind of the two small features that uh, I briefly wanted to show. Um, are there any questions?